Hello everyone, my name is Jason Parker and welcome back to this channel about magic. In this video, we're gonna look at Danya Diaz's second performance on America's Got Talent, The Champions, 2020. Sounds so futuristic, doesn't it? Comment below if you feel like you're living in the future. Anyway, Danya did a great job on her first performance. The judges loved her, I loved her performance. That's weird, felt like that just got awkward. <laughs> Anyway, she did a great job. She had a very emotional story to tell that she combined with her magic, which was something that set her apart. And therefore, I'm very excited to see what other kind of magic she's gonna share with us this time. By the way, those of you who have been following this channel for a while, you may remember four months ago, I bought this Rubik's Cube, and at the time, I had no idea how to solve it. Well, today is February 4th, 2020, and I still have no idea how to solve it. Just thought you should know. All right, no more delays. Let's just go ahead and jump right into the reaction. Just like a singer can tell the story of their own experience, I want to do that with magic. I want to make it more personal so people That's can cool. relate. When you're 10 and your mom passed away, nothing is the same. It was hard growing up without her. Thankfully, I found magic. Magic was an escape from reality. It gave me self-confidence. I thought that Spangled Tyler was it for me, that those kind of opportunities only came once. They never imagined me in America's Got Talent, the champion. Being a semi-finalist, it feels amazing. <laughs> now I have to bring something different. Tonight is all about what my mom always emphasized. All right, I'm just gonna pause and say real quick, I love her story, I love what she's sharing with us, but I can't stop thinking about those cardistry moves she was doing earlier. Some of you commenting on my reaction to her last performance were saying, ah, oh, she's not doing like super difficult sleight of hand. But if you look at what she was just doing now, I mean, clearly she has good technical ability with cards. That was actually the first time I'd ever seen where she had two cards and the one in the middle spinning when she blew on it. I thought that was really cool. And she was doing some isolation moves with the cards, rotating them on her finger. And I thought if you look at her card spring, she's got a really nice long distance. There's a lot of magicians who can't do that very well. So anyway, I just want to take this moment to stop and point out that she does have good dexterity with her hands and she is quite talented. Proceeding. To be happy. Every time I go out on stage it's a tribute to her and I feel like I can take this all the way. All right. Being here in America's Got Talent the Champions is a dream come true. That's why before I start I would like to capture this moment forever. I would love to take a picture, is that okay? Yeah. yeah. Perfect. Howie, do you mind if we take a picture with yours? I have a cell phone. Oh, nice. <laughs> a selfie would be just perfect. I want you all to be in the picture. All awesome. Right. Try to get us all in, ready? Nice, That's thank nice you photo. so much. <laughs> Today, I would like to share with all of you what I think is the most important part of my story and that is the positive side of having left everything behind and starting from scratch. And I couldn't find a better way to do that than with these three cards and a little bit of magic. <laughs> Leaving my country was one of the hardest things I had to do. I have to confess that when I left, a part of me stayed there. Ah, I know this routine. I've seen this before. This is actually a really cool effect that I was wanting to learn, but I never have. When I was a kid, I remember my brother's friend, Rolando Medina. He was the first magician I ever met, and I remember him showing me this effect, and it just being very mind-blowing. So that being said, I'm very excited to see her performance of it, to see her take. Proceeding. But along the way, I discovered many things. I discovered that through the face of adversity, we develop qualities that we did not know we had we get stronger. I learned to value what's really important. Family, friends, and the time we share with them. And it's funny because now that we are separated, now is when we feel more united. Whoa. And although at some point the circumstances made me wanna break down, made me wanna fall, 
I know that they will be there to lift me up. And yeah, the circumstances broke us inside at some point. But most of us managed to escape, but always hoping to come back, recover, and start from scratch. Because now, now we know what's really important. Family, Thank you. friends, and the time we share with them. Man, I just got to say already that's a very beautiful presentation, especially this focus on family, friends, and the time you spend together. And it actually hits home to me because I left my home three and a half years ago. I'm living on the other side of the world just kind of by myself, starting from scratch, starting over new. And what she's saying for me really resonates because uh, my parents, I'm very close to them. And even though we're on the other side of the world, I'm talking to them almost every other day. And in some ways she's right, it does bring you closer. And also the friends that I've made while taking this leap of faith, they're definitely an invaluable part of my experience and something that helps keep me up and support me. Anyways, I'm kind of going off on a tangent here. I just uh, it struck a chord with me, uh, her message that she was sharing. And I felt like it was really beautiful. Smash like, and back to her performance. The beautiful thing is that we will always have the memories so many memories. Alicia, please pick a card. That will stay in your memory. You can show it to everyone. The problem with memories is that sometimes you can lose them. The best way to recover them is to put your mind blank. Play with them. You <laughs> Did you notice that? I like how the fact that the audience went crazy when she showed a blank-faced card. <laughs> I mean, she literally wasn't doing any magic. She put the card back into the deck, and then she turned over the top card, and it was blank, and the audience goes, Oh, ooh. <laughs> I wonder if there was like a mistimed applause cue up at the top, but actually, you know, I remember hearing from another magician that the average spectator, like the normal layman, they aren't used to seeing trick cards like a double backer or like a blank faced card. So just seeing that to them can be shocking. Anyways, that just struck me as funny that the audience was going ooh and ah just because she showed them this blank faced card. What did you think about that? Please leave a comment below and let me know your thoughts. Proceeding. Just your imagination until nice. you get yours. Double change, pretty cool. <laughs> this is your memory, but now it will be all of ours. Because long before you choose this car, we took a picture, remember? Yes. Howie, yeah. I want you to look at that picture, and you will see that this moment connects to that memory. And I hope it stays close to your heart for a really <gasps> Where's the camera? long time. Look at that. You can see that. <laughs> That's the car. Oh Very cool. Standing innovation. Daria Diaz! Simon, what did you think? All right, let me go ahead and give you my thoughts before we hear what the judges are gonna say. First off, about this magic effect she performed where she was linking the cards together and unlinking them, I can say without a doubt that there were no special cards, no gaff cards used on that. It was all sleight of hand, and I thought she did a great job, especially timing it with her presentation, with her wording. Like, the whole thing actually had meaning. She's talking about things that we can all relate to, family, friends, the time you spend together. She's talking about memories and how you can lose them as she puts a card into the deck. I mean, what a great idea, what a great performance. It seems very simple, yet I never thought about presenting it like a lost memory as a card going into a deck and then having to find that memory again. So anyway, I just felt that that was very clever and very emotional, the whole storytelling again. You know, I thought after watching her the first time that maybe she wouldn't have another story to tell, but right away she's connected the emotion and the magic together and just synthesized it perfectly. And as far as that ace of hearts appearing in the photo at the end with Howie, all I can say, if I'm gonna speak in code, is that she was using what the Jedi use, but it was presented very fairly because you see she just spreads out the cards and the judge just reaches in and takes one. If I really had to speculate, I might say there could have been some dupes in that deck. But anyway, I don't wanna get so focused on the method. I think overall she did an amazing job and I'm excited to see what the judges are gonna say. Let's take a look. Uh, do you know what, the fact, because you were so close, your hands were shaking throughout, which showed to me how actually real all this was and how much it meant to you. Um, it was magic, literally three feet from where we stood. There's no denying that. Alicia, 
Yeah, it was beautifully understated. It was really poetic. You know, you could hear a pin drop in here. It was just, you had our attention. Couldn't take our eyes off of you. And like the card, that was ace. Well done. Thank you. Howie! I'm gonna be totally honest with you. My mom is alive and has lost some of her memory. And my heart was like bursting with emotion and memories. And it was probably one of the most beautiful things I've ever seen. So I hope that the super fans feel what I feel in my heart. Thank you. Good luck tonight, Danya. That was amazing. Danya Diaz, everybody. Thank you. I mean, I'm telling you, I almost cried watching her. Yeah. Wow. All right, now I'm gonna go ahead and give you my concluding thoughts. You know, that's interesting how Simon pointed out that her hands were shaking a little bit. In fact, I think I saw a little bit of that right at the beginning when she was pulling the three cards out of the deck. I was watching closely trying to verify it really was three cards, but I saw her hands shaking just a bit. And I used to have that experience all the time. It was terrible. Back when I was first getting into magic, you know, just even performing for friends, my hands holding the deck would be shaking. And I would try to keep my hands in motion, moving the cards around, pointing, gesturing, so that people wouldn't notice. <laughs> and it really sucks because you're already feeling nervous, then your hands are showing that you're nervous, people can see you're nervous, and that makes you more nervous. Hashtag magician problems. Anyway, lucky for me, after having performed a lot, that doesn't happen to me anymore, performing for friends or small groups. Although I'm sure if I was on something like America's Got Talent, my hands would just be shaking off the hook. Seriously, here's the hook, and here's my hand shaking off of it. Anyways, about her whole performance, I don't really want to repeat myself, but it was just beautiful and well done. She basically had two effects there and just kind of blended it all together with excellent storytelling. And on top of it all, she was also doing close-up sleight of hand, which I think is something we can all enjoy. So anyways, I think she's got something special, how she performs magic and knows how to combine it and tell a compelling story. That's really a rare quality to get the audience to actually care about what you're doing. And what about you? Feel free to leave a comment below. What did you think about Danya's performance this time? All right, now it's that time. You know what time it is. It's time for an- Face up stable. And let's go with... This one it has a picture and it's a very short one. The crab and his mother. Look at those two crabs just chilling on the beach. Chapter 50. The Crab and His Mother An old crab said to her son, Why do you walk sideways like that, my son? You ought to walk straight. The young crab replied, Show me how, dear mother, and I'll follow your example. The old crab tried, but tried in vain, and then saw how foolish she had been to find fault with her child. And the moral of the storyline is, Example is better than precept. And I know right now you're thinking at home, What is a precept? I mean, we can probably guess, but come on, let's look up this word just to make sure. Second thing that I know you're thinking at home right now, what kind of an idiot is Jason who doesn't know what the word precept means? Give me a break. We can't know what all the words mean all the time. Define precept. Precept, a general rule intended to regulate behavior or thought. That's kind of what I thought it was, but good to have the official definition. Now I'm teaching you life lessons and vocabulary. Smash like. All right, so immediately I'm thinking of something like, it's better to walk the walk than talk the talk, or if you're gonna talk the talk, then you should walk the walk. Definitely don't walk the talk, that's crazy. Ain't nobody got time for that. All right, so what can we learn from this? I mean, it seems pretty straightforward. It's a really short story. I'm also reminded of that verse from the Bible where it says something like, before you try to remove the speck, from your friend's eye, you should remove the plank from your own eye. That's not specifically the moral of this story, but it reminds me of that because the mom is finding something to criticize with her son, yet it's something that she has the same problem with. She was only seeing the fault in him and not in herself. But really, the focus of this story is example is better than precept. Example is better than precept. Yeah, I mean, I guess it just makes sense in general. It's always better to show somebody something rather than just telling them how to do it. Because not only can people learn better when they see you do it, they can believe it's possible when you show them. And if what you're saying is not possible, it will become evident when you try yourself. <laughs> Anyways, I guess that's about all we've got to take out of this story. Not particularly deep, but still useful. Since it's the end of the video, I should probably make this book vanish using the power of my mind. Definitely not special effects or anything like that, just the power of my mind. Anyways, I guess that's all for this video. I hope that you're doing well. I hope your life is chugging along just really good, pleasantly. Thanks for being here to watch this video. Thanks especially to those of you who made it all the way to the end. It really means a lot to me. And that being said, I guess I will see you next time. Yep.